Mm -hmm. All right, let's go. Imagine living in a zoo, being taken from your home in the wild to be shown to the public, not able to roam for miles, but walk around in an enclosed area provided for you, relying on someone to feed you every day. Most animals don't even know what it's like in their natural habitat. This is life of millions of animals around the world today, taken from their family and put in the, in the wild and put in zoos all around the world. When putting an animal in a zoo, it can cause their personality to change dramatically. According to Delciana Winders, in a study she made on the behaviors of animals, she found that the results to be shocking. There have been many cases of animal depression and illnesses. One of the cases that she studied was a dolphin that had rammed its head into the side of the cage because it was so depressed and killed itself. And some other things that she noticed were that um, tigers would pace the length of their cages, bears would stand in the same spot in their cages, elephants would sway back and forth for hours in the same spot, dolphins would circle their tanks all day, orcas would ruin their teeth trying to bite through the metal bars of their cage, and chimps would bite their fingers until they bleed. This shows that animals are like us with complex brains. So how would you like to be locked up in a cage all day and every day? Um, like Alexis, Alexis, Alexis said, <laughs> sorry. Um, they don't have a lot of space in their um, cages. And one of the laws that um, requires the length of their cage and such to be big is, or to be its size is the Animal Welfare Act which requires minimal standards of care and treatment be provided for certain animals bred for commercial sale, used in research, transported commercially, or exhibited to the public. So the Animal Zoo Administration and the um, United States Department of Agriculture require only that the cage size be enough room for them to stand up, um, turn around, sit up, lie down. So it doesn't really require them to have much space. And the typical polar bear um, cage in zoos in America is only about one millionth the size of what they would have in the wild. And elephants normally walk up to 30, day, 30 miles per day in the wild, and with their size cage, like, walk less than a mile, so. We aren't asking for zoos to be banned. We just, um, we only want regulations to keep both people and the animals safe. We would like to say a few things about zoos. First off, zoos are a great way for humans to examine all kinds of animals, big or small. Endangered animals are put into these sanctuaries, and in a proper zoo, they are given a habitat that goes above and beyond the minimal needs according to animalfacts.org. These are called mini habitats instead of the stereotypical cage, bar, cage of steel bars and cement floors. Medical care, food, water, and human love are always guaranteed. These are key for prolonging the, exist the existence of wild and endangered animals. Zoos also provide cities with tourism, which helps out their economy. Thank you. Um, a lot of you might wonder what kind of diseases come with animals that are transferred from different parts of the world. And um, according to Michael J. Burns in the Seattle Times, there are many different viruses that can come with animals. And one is suspected to be uh, known as uh, an elephant herpes virus, known as EEHV, that has been spreading through young um, elephants at a handful of zoos. And the virus is believed to spread by contact, could lie dormant for years, but then sprout um, so fast that it could kill, that it could destroy internal organs in just hours, killing the animal. And um, it actually tried shipping female elephants to different zoos around the country. Um, not knowing that they had the disease, which then spread the disease throughout many other zoos. Endangered animals are protected in zoos away from hunters, poachers, diseases, and predators. And according to Dr. Schall from the Association of Zoos and Aquariums, 126,000 jobs are created and over $18 billion are circulated in the economy each year because of zoos which means zoos are an important part of the economy. Tourists can put money and zoo jobs are created. Thank you. Okay, so Ryan has said that um, zoos help save animals from the wild. And um, according to captiveanimals.org, 
Animals have three times a better chance surviving in the wild than they do at zoos because of diseases spread, it, like um, Alexa said. Um, most animals have a premature death, and elephants only live to um, one third of their lifespan. And for every one animal born in a zoo, two other animals die. Zoos have very high regulations that there need to be met, which in this case is for like the proper zoo. Obviously some zoos don't live up those standards, but a good zoo does. And these, these uh, regulations are, they have to have veterinary medical programs and facilities uh, capable of medical treatment, surgery, staffing, and preventative medication for the animals to be healthy. and the United States Department of Agriculture um, have passed the Animal Welfare Act, which, like I said before, um, requires minimal standards of care and treatment be provided for animals. And this is a direct quote from the Animal Welfare Act. It said, animals should be cared for, cared for in ways that minimize fear, pain, stress, and suffering. Um, in zoos, most zoos um, overbreed and inbreed their animals with chameleon-like breeding with their brothers and sisters and stuff um, to get baby animals. That is what the public wants to see. And then once the baby animals grow up, they just disregard them, either kill them or put them in storage, like in um, a different zoo somewhere. So there's a lot of harsh treatment with zoos, and this is um, from an article on Fine. zoos called... Fine. Zoos are a nice, handy tool teaching our youth about animals. It's a lot more educational and a better experience if you can watch them in person. And zoos also can take exotic pets that people don't want or that cannot be released into the wild. Um, he said that people learn from zoos, but 40% of the zoos don't have specific labels on the exhibit. And the study shows um, that most people know nothing new from the association of zoos and uh, science magazines. And really, the kids just get entertained. They don't learn anything. When you leave here today, we want, we want you to have learned these people. Um. Zoos also breed programs for endangered animals. They are not breeding their brothers and sisters. They find, they take endangered animals and they breed them to increase the population of the certain animal, and then they can release them back into the wild when they're ready. So, as you're talking about um, endangered animals, animals have a three times better chance of surviving in the wild than they do in zoos, and for every And um, those diseases in zoos, um, most animals have a pre premature death. And uh, as Evelyn had said, uh, for every one animal born, two die. Zoos <laughs> provide place to live so that they don't go extinct. Food, water, and living is food, water, and every living essential is provided. These zoos are a fun way for kids and adults to learn about animals and have a great experience. If we do not have zoos, there would be over 120,000 jobs lost and a ton of money not gained by these workers. Without zoos, we would lose a great part of our culture. Okay. One last thing I'd like to talk about is the dangers of zoos and the animals that they put into them. And I'd like to share a couple stories. And one it was from the Pittsburgh Post Gazette, uh, stating that the Pittsburgh Zoo had used dogs to herd elephants, which these dogs would bite, chase, and antagonize <coughs> elephants, which are almost eight times animals, which are very unpredictable and can be very dangerous. And uh, another story was that on November, in November 2002, Mike Getty, who was only 
46 was killed by an elephant after falling. Um, the elephant had pressed its head into its chest, killing him. And this was from the first issue of the picture. Another story recorded by Michael MacArthur from the Independent in London, England, said that an orca trainer was dragged into the tank by the whale. And um, due to captivity-related stress, orcas are more susceptible to diseases and short lives. They then can become very uh, dangerous and aggressive. Um, another story is a, um, from the Mercury News. Um, a tiger had escaped from San Francisco Zoo on December 25th, killing one person and injuring two. And the last story I'd like to share with you is about a two-year-old boy named Maddox Jerkish, who had fallen into an exhibit and was killed after being mauled by African painted dogs. And we also have another story up on the board that we'd like to share. The tragic accident happened Friday around 10.45 a.m. at the Little Rock Zoo in Arkansas. A three-year-old boy was injured when he fell from the railing above the jaguar pit. According to the police report, the boy's grandfather placed the toddler on the railing to view the two jaguars. His father, Andrew Garber, was taking pictures of the cats when he says he saw the boy fall in his peripheral view. The boy fell four and a half meters, or about 15 feet, into the jaguar pit. Witnesses told THV 11 they saw one jaguar biting the child's neck and another biting the boy's foot. The grandfather scared off one jaguar by throwing a watering hose spool at it. The father then threw a camera bag at the other cat. A zoo employee eventually retrieved the boy from the pit, while another employee distracted the jaguar with a fire extinguisher. The toddler suffered a fractured skull, scalp lacerations, and minor puncture wounds, both during the fall and animal attack. Doctors at the Arkansas Children's Hospital say the boy's injuries are not life-threatening. Okay, so um, obviously these are like extreme cases, and um, we're not saying that zoo zoo should be like outlawed and that, that we should have them. They can be fun, but there needs to be more regulations for them so stuff like that doesn't happen. There needs to be more like security regulations and because of like the stress and such that the animals are under in zoos, it can cause them to be violent and stuff. So we argue for more regulations.